right, guys, I wanted to give you a glimpse of my storage. This is what I've got in here now. I still got a whole car full, but I'm getting there. This is what I'm using to roll it up here. I'm on the third floor, so I've got a little bit more to go. I'll let you know when I'm done. Well, trip two didn't do it. I got one more trip, guys, and I forgot to close this, which is not smart. But anyway, closing it now and I'm gonna go get the last load. Well, good morning. I have not done a get ready with me in a while, so I wanted to talk to you guys. So I figured I'd get ready this morning. Today is Thursday, August 22nd, and I need a video for Monday, so here we go. Okay, this is my new bathroom, guys. So. Um, I move my towel over there in the center. It has another set, but looks better in the middle. Anyway, the lighting, so-so in here. I've got a light above me. I've got a window there that I've got the lights going. Then I have a skylight up top. So I've got lots of lighting in here, but I don't know how good it is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready, tell you about what happened yesterday, just kind of fill you in on my life. First of all, always start out with my little Dermalogic, Dermalogica little serum that I put on my face. Um, it always feels good in the morning to put this on my face, just to kind of wake it up. Uh, just for reference right now, it is 9.49, it's almost 10 o'clock. Um, I got home last night at 10 o'clock at night and uh, I took a shower, washed my hair, uh, did I do anything else? I don't think I did anything else. I brought in a few things from the car. The rest of it is all still out there. I have to go get it still today. And I work tonight. So I've got a really busy day ahead, even though um, it's not as bad as yesterday. So let me tell you what happened yesterday. Um, next thing I'm gonna put on is uh, this rock uh, retinol correction. I put this one under my eyes. Um, anyway, I was at Saboba uh, yesterday morning. Brian had to leave. Uh, I think he left like at three or four in the morning. He, he didn't get much time off, guys. I don't have much time that I actually get to see Brian. Uh, he's actually not working three nights a week and that's it. One is during the week and then Friday and Saturday. But he's always gotta be ready to drive on a Wednesday and Sunday after those nights off. So it's hard on him, it's really hard on him. And I totally understand working the night shift, you know, trying to get your sleep in and it is hard. Um, but anyway, so he left around then and I got up and played and it was disastrous. Just flat out disastrous. I'm putting on some Aquaphor before I put makeup on. Uh, everybody is, this is the new rage. Put Aquaphor in it, you know, helps with the wrinkles. Uh, anyway, I put that on under my eyes always. And I usually put here in my smile lines, more a little Aquaphor. Um, first thing I put on guys, let me show you. Um, one of my wonderful subscribers told me about Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Um, it's kind of a primer and I've really grown to enjoy this. Uh, I've been putting it on every time I do my makeup now. I think it makes my skin look really good. Um, it's It feels like you're putting on a very thin lotion that's really, really light. And I really like this. It is by Maybelline. And um, anyway, I really like this stuff. Uh, I put it just all on my face. Uh, a little goes a long way. You think that you don't need that, you know, that you need more. But just put a little bitty bit because it really, um, it really spreads well. So anyway, that is all my base stuff. Um, okay, so anyway, so I played, I lost, I came back up and I slept. I did sleep another maybe two or three hours more, so I did get plenty of sleep last night. Um, next up, we're going to do the e.l.f. 
Halo Glow Liquid Filter Foundation. I This has been my new go-to, guys. I absolutely love this stuff. It is so good. It makes your skin look so good. If you want to get a good new foundation, this is the one to get because it really makes your skin glow. Now, I don't wear this when I'm live in the casino, and I'll tell you why. The way the lighting is there, it makes my face look so glowy and almost kind of red. So when I take pictures beforehand, um, I sent it to Vanessa when I was going live one time and she's like, oh my goodness, you look all red. It was that makeup. Um, it just, it looks that way for some reason in the casino. So I do wear my Il Macage in the casino and uh, that seems to work really well. But anyway, I just put this all over my face. You can already see the dewiness of it. I love that about it. I really do. Um, yeah, it's a good foundation. I love e.l.f. You know, e.l.f. used to be really cheap. Like, it was the cheapest makeup you could find. Now, e.l.f. is going up in price because they're just getting better and better, you know? Um, all their products. I have several e.l.f. you're going to see in this little get ready with me. And uh, they're all e.l.f. And I really, really like them. So, anyway, that is the foundation and that's what we're going to build on so anyway, that's self i'm wearing this cute little shirt from old navy yesterday i was hot um and i'll finish telling you the story of what all i did but i was hot and uh brian did say why are you not wearing shorts well i should have been today i am wearing shorts all right um next we will do our concealer this is the tarte cream uh creaseless creamy um concealer i put it right there and then i put me a dot there dot there and then right there and uh okay so let's go let's finish telling the story it's gonna take the whole time i'm putting on my makeup but anyway so i left saboba uh i did get a hot chocolate when i went to bed around 6 30 in the morning I got a hot chocolate at the coffee thing I had earned. Guys, I earned, I think I earned 8,000 points while I was there, which is really, really good for me. But I earned another $15 to spend at the coffee shop. So I did that and I got a hot chocolate. I got a banana nut bread and they gave me a double one. I don't know why. And then I also got some kind of I don't know, strawberry thing. Anyway, I'm not eating them. I wish I had somebody to give them to. I may take them to work tonight and just set them on the counter. Maybe somebody will eat them. I don't know. I just I had to spend $15. And uh, anyway, I didn't know what to get. So anyway, I like that on my eyes. I, you know, I got wrinkles. I don't care. I don't care. All right, uh, next up, we are going to do our number seven powder that I always use. This one is in, this one is light. And like I said, I wish I would have gotten darker on this powder. I don't think this powder is doing it for me. Um, I ordered it on Amazon and you know, I couldn't actually see it because they don't sell this number seven at Target anymore. So I needed, I needed, I need to go uh, get a darker one. But anyway, okay. So, uh, I got the hot chocolate. I went up to the room. I drank the hot chocolate. I answered all my comments on YouTube on Debbie Low Slots, not Nurse Debbie. And then I went back to sleep and I slept until I think about 930. And then I got up at 930, packed all my bags up, went downstairs, talked to my friend at check-in. I love her to death. Um, talked to her for a while and then I headed home. Uh, I got to my house, I think about 11.30 is what time I got to my house, and I was already overwhelmed knowing what I had to do yesterday. I had to move. I had to move, guys. Moving had to be done, and it was only going to be me to do it. Um, Vanessa, Vegas, um, Brian working, you know, it's me, it's me. And not that I expected anybody to help me. I did not. 
and I am certainly not the one that's going to ask for help. Um, I got my new chubby stick. Oh, I love this Clinique Curvy Contour number one chubby stick. Love it for contouring. And again, my contouring is not a lot, um, but I do do a little contouring on this face. Um, and you know what? I did not get my contouring brush. Most of my stuff I pulled out because I'm so tired of looking for my stuff in my bag. Anyway, and then I just use a contour brush. This one is from uh, Sephora. It's the Sephora um, contouring brush. And I do love that one. And I just rub those in. So anyway, I got home and I started packing, guys. Uh, just started throwing things in bins. I have not had time to go through stuff. I need to go through stuff. Um, I've probably got stuff that I've been traveling with for three years that is still, but I just brought them all to storage because I don't know what else to do. I don't have the time to sit and go through them. I don't. Even if I wanted to, I don't have the time. I don't. Um, so anyway, and I'm really stupid. I did the contour after my blush. I mean, my powder. So let's powder that contour in. Um, anyway, so I got enough to get one thing going. Just my living room. All the stuff in my living room. You guys have seen videos. I had a lot of stuff in that living room. So got all that done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on the Halo Glow Beauty Wand. I'm going to tell you guys, there is something I am very disappointed in this. It leaks all around the lid and it's driving me crazy. So what I've been doing is just taking the excess here and just putting it on my cheek because I don't know what else to do. It's, I do put a little bit on my nose. Um, it's just, it's bad guys. It's bad. That is a flaw that they need to fix because I am not happy about that. Let me get a paper something to get this off my fingers. Literally, I got blush all over my fingers. All right, where's my blush brush? Okay, look how this looks. I do love this, and I will put up with that if I have to, but I do not like that it does that. All right, I do like that blush. It's my favorite blush brush. It is on Amazon. It's RT449. I don't even know what brand it is, but Somebody told me to get it, and I love that. Um, anyway, so I got all of that done, put it all in the car myself. It was a hot day in um, the Torrance area. Guys, this is just a little purple eyeshadow that I have been putting under my eye. I have been told that it makes your eyes look bluer. So, hey, I've been doing it, and I'll tell you what it is as soon as I finish doing it. <laughs> Um, this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Stick, Eye Stick. And, um, I don't know if it works. Something I just added. All right, next up, um, I'm going to do my, uh, my eyeshadow. My eyeshadow. I'm going to do my mascara. I'm tired, guys. Okay, so anyway, I go to the storage with all my car loaded. I can't even see out the back window because my car was that loaded. Um, I get to the storage. They have like these, um, they're kind of, they're dollies, but they're not. They're the flat ones that you can just lay stuff on. So I put all my clothes, I mean, all my bins on that. Took me a little while. Um, only could get one load out of the car. And I headed up. I am on the third floor. This place has an elevator. And uh, so anyway, I just wheeled all my stuff up to the third floor. I unloaded it all in the storage. And then I came back down with it, loaded up all the second thing of stuff in the car, all the rest of it. And the whole time, I am on the phone with Brian. And let me tell you why. I was a little uncomfortable. There was, there was a lot of men there that were loading stuff in and it was just making me 
uncomfortable. So Brian stayed on the phone with me just in case, you know, anything happened. Um, nothing did. Actually, the guy that was in the car next to me that I was worried the most about pretty much called me a superwoman for doing all that myself and ended up being really nice. We actually talked. So, you know, don't let the look of people scare you. Most people are genuinely nice. They really are. You just gotta give them a chance. Um, so anyway, finished that, drove back home, um, got some lunch, uh, stopped at Hoff's Hut, which was my favorite restaurant me and Vanessa used to go to, and I got me some potato skins, guys. I ate two potato skins at Hoff's Hut, um, and then uh, came home, you know, um, and then started packing again. Guys, I got all the stuff out of my closet. This is the e.l.f. I absolutely love this uh, eyeshadow. This is e.l.f. Um, it's Liquor Metallic Eyeshadow. And then this is metallic. I don't know what the color is. It's just the brown. I really like it. And then I just take my little brush and put that on my eyelid. And I really like that. And then that uh, eyeliner I used on the waterline just a second ago was the, did I do it? Yeah, I think I did. Is the infallible, uh, the, the L'Oreal infallible. Um, and it's in the dark black. Anyway, so loaded up that next thing. It was already uh, almost seven o'clock at night. And my goal was to be gone by seven. And I could not, I just couldn't get out of there. So anyway, the last load guys took three trips up to the third floor. I was exhausted. I was hot. This is the uh, Makeup Forever uh, crayon. It's a uh, color pencil for your lips. And I'm just gonna outline my lips a little bit. Anyway, those three uh, trips I did, I had everything fall off going up the little hill that you go on and I had to re-put it all back on. And I was so hot, I was so miserable. I literally, when I got finished, I called Brian and I was crying. I'm like, I don't, think I can finish, I can't do this, I'm so tired. And he's like, baby, you're okay, you've got this. He encouraged me, he was wonderful, but it was a nightmare, guys. It was a nightmare. And doing it all I so, you know, I am a strong woman and I know that, but it took a lot out of me. Uh. All right, and this is the Milk Makeup. Uh, it's glossy lip oil gloss. Anyway, I'm just putting this on because this was in here. So anyway, I know the lighting is bad, guys, but I hope you can see my makeup. It is done for the day. Uh, last thing I'm going to do. Uh, I know I got it. Oh, right here. I'm going to put some setting spray on because I got a live today on Nurse Debbie and I got lots of stuff to do. Whew. All right, so setting spray is on. I've already put my deodorant on for the day. Um, I feel really good. If there's any products you had any questions about, just ask me in the um, in the comments section. Let me see if I can grab this phone off of here. There we go. Let me see if you can see the lighting better. Well, maybe over here. <gasps> it's a little better. Anyway, that is my makeup for the day. I absolutely love the blush, and I absolutely love this foundation. Look how glowy it is. I think it's really glowy. Let me open this door and see if it brings any more light. Nah, a little bit in the bedroom. Anyway, I just wanted you to see the makeup. But thank you for getting ready with it, me this morning. I did get to Santa Barbara last night about 10 o'clock and uh, it was a long day. It was a hard day, it was a long day, but it's done. Now I do still have one more trip. Um, I have my shoe rack and my clothes rack I need to take apart and then decide which shoes I'm throwing in the storage and which ones I am bringing here. And then I need to clean out my fridge and my pantry real quick. Should take me just a couple of hours. I'm not sure which day I'm gonna do it, but I've gotta do it by the end of the month. But for the most part, I'm here guys. I'm here in Santa Barbara and I'm ready for the next 12 weeks 
uh, just to see what happens. I hope you'll keep watching me. Um, I will start exploring the area, show you the beaches, so you, show you some of the cool places, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for watching today. This was a long get ready with me, but I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you can like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys for watching. It was fun.